In this video, I would like to talk to you about the second case uh, of multi-stage tree diagram, uh, which is uh, um, a two-way classification. So, uh, for example, uh, let us assume we would like to select one employee uh, from uh, a hospital. So, suppose we are uh, interested in the gender of the person. So, he can be a man or a woman. And we are also interested in his job, which could be uh, a doctor or a nurse. So if he's, if he's a man, then he can be a doctor or nurse. And if he's a woman, he can also be uh, a doctor or nurse. So you notice here we only selected one employee. So these two stages are not two people selected. They are actually one person. But one time we think of uh, one way. Uh, uh, of thinking, one way of classification, which is, which is uh, the gender. So here we're looking at the gender. And then here we're looking at the job. So that's, that's a two-way classification, gender and job. So that's like two steps of thinking, but we're actually selecting one person. So at the end, what we can get, we can get a male doctor, we can get a male nurse, we can get a female or a woman that's a doctor or uh, a female or a woman that is uh, a nurse. So we have four possibilities of this one person that is selected. So that's an example of a two-way classification uh, that builds also a two-stage uh, uh, two-stage tree diagram. This is a two-stage tree diagram. Let's look at another example. We have this container that has balls and the balls has two characteristics. The color of the ball which could be red or blue and also the number written on the ball, which could be one or two or three. So when you select one ball, what could happen? See, the first ball, uh, the first thing uh, you can think of is could be uh, the color of the ball, which could be a uh, blue or red. The same ball that you selected, because you only select one ball, if it's blue, it also has uh, a number. So the number on it could be one or two or three. And same thing for the red, the number and it could be one or two or three. So now this another example of two-way classification. Um, the first way of classification is actually the color. And the second one is the number on the ball. So in this case, I have also a two-way classification. And uh, the outcomes at the end are going to be, uh, for example, a blue one, blue two, blue three, or red one, red two, red three. So I have six outcomes, which is obvious because you actually have six balls here in front of you. But uh, in this case, notice that to, to do the full tree diagram, detailed tree diagram, you have two stages, one stage for the color and one stage for the number. So that's two-way classification of the same ball. Remember, we are selecting only one ball, not two. Another example is when you have an item with two models, uh, say uh, model one and model two, and both of them could be defected. Uh, the item could be TV, could be a refrigerator, could be anything that you can buy in the market. So if we select one item, so remember the example, you're only selecting one item, so select one item. How could it be? It can actually be model one or model 2. If it's model 1, what could be the condition? It could be defected or good item, not defected, which means working properly. So defected means not working properly and good means working properly. So in this case, also when you have model 2, you can still have a defected item or a good item. So at the end, what you have, you have model 1 that is defected, a uh, model 1 that is working good, or a model 2 that is defected, or a model 2 that's working good. So that's another example of two-way classification. Here the two-way are the model and the condition of the item. Again, we are selecting only one item here, not two. Not because it's two stages means we're selecting two. We're actually selecting one, but we are classifying this one item two different ways based on model and condition.